Hi everybody, I want to show you several ways to fold flat diapers and this is the origami fold. This is going to be the end result. I'm gonna start from the beginning now just to show you. So um, you start with your flat open and you'll get really good at this with practice and it'll take no time at all. At first it seemed a little overwhelming to me when I started because um, my baby was under three months old and I thought, when would I ever have a chance to fold the laundry like this? But it turns out I do now. And so first you flip up the bottom. So you have a rectangle now. Your square is now a rectangle. Then you're going to fold over um, one more time to make a square. Then you're going to grab the right corner and pull it, pull it over and see how you've got kind of a, it makes a, an upside down triangle. It makes it, so you have a straight, straight edge at the top, it turns into a triangle. The next thing you do is you're going to flip it over. So since I'm doing this with one hand, you're going to flip it over like that. And then you're going to try fold. So you start from the left side. One, two, three folds is what my, is good for my baby. And, and there you have your diaper that um, now you would lay baby down in the middle, flip this up, wrap these sides around, and I usually just tuck it in. Um, and leave it like that on my baby and then just put a cover over it. I don't use a snappy with it, but you could use a pin if you wanted just one pin on the side and that would be enough. So that's the first fold. That's an origami fold. Um, the next fold is what I had been doing. Um, and this is a nice fold because you can adjust the size of the flat. So I bought these flats and they were, I believe they're the large. This is the large um, cloth ease bird's eye from Green Mountain Diapers. So when I bought them, they were a little bit big for my baby. And that's why this next fold came in so handy. You take each corner and bring each corner to the center. And you can adjust it. This is where you can adjust it. So if I need it to be a little smaller, I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. Bring it in another corner and then bring this down. And my baby needs about that size. So I bring it all, I pull this one all the way down instead of stopping in the middle. So I pull it all the way down. Then I, again, I trifold. So, um, I fold one side in, fold the other, and then when it's time to change my baby, I open up these wings, kind of make the angel wing, put my baby right here in the middle, and his legs are out here, fold this up, then fold the sides over, then snappy it, snappy or pin it. So that's my second favorite fold. And then the next fold is the simplest fold. And it's what I started with, but uh, ended up preferring the origami fold. So, um, but this is the, the next one is the simplest. It's just to make a square. And so you can fold up to make the rectangle, fold up the bottom, and then fold it over. So you've got your square, and then you can again make it, trifold it, and then you're going to open it up like this for baby. Put baby's bottom there, flip this up, bring the wings around. So that's the third way. And this is how to fold flats.